Hi, I'm David Keith. I worked on energy and climate since 1990 when I switched out of physics. I'm a prof at Harvard, and in a detour from academia, I founded Carbon Engineering, a clean tech startup. And I'm Sarah Hastings Simon. I study energy transitions at the intersection of policy, business, and technology. I'm a policy wonk, a physicist turned management consultant, and now a researcher at the Colorado School of Mines. And I'm Ed Whittingham. I'm not a physicist, but I've worked on climate and energy for the past 20 years. First as head of the Pemin Institute, a Canadian clean energy think tank, and now as a consultant, helping to develop and finance clean energy projects. On energy versus climate, we'll unpack how the climate challenge is changing our energy systems and what that means for our home province of Alberta, for Canada, and beyond. Alberta is an oil and gas rich province in a natural resource dependent country with high environmental ambitions. It's a canary in the coal mine for the collision between climate and jobs, but we hope it can serve as a model for successfully managing the transition. Climate politics is too often dominated by elite happy talk around IPCC targets. Yet, year after year, emissions have crept ever upwards. Now, Greta is calling out the hypocrisy of my generation, rightly demanding that action replace talk. On Energy versus Climate, we'll ask the tough questions and explore choices for Alberta and the world. I think we have a real challenge of thinking about what can actually produce high-value jobs, jobs where we make things that exporters want in the long run, because I don't think it's going to be oil. And just because we're good at energy now, I don't think it's clear that it necessarily is clean energy. The hard part is to be honest about the real questions we face, because Alberta is filled with fantasies. What's the role for government in this kind of situation? You know, it's not to save all the companies, right? If we believe in markets, as I do, then the markets are supposed to say, okay, you know, these are companies that are better at managing and these are worse. And the role of government is really to deal with the, the dislocation, the problems that arise for the people that are caught up in this and help them manage through that transition more smoothly. Governments are going to be making choices in the next few weeks, next few months, that I think will make or, or squander this once in a generation opportunity. The trick is to try to couple short term economic activity with long term benefits. And those benefits, you know, might involve helping some sectors to fundamentally retool and reposition themselves. Energy versus climate is your no nonsense discussion source for the hard truths and nuanced reality we face. We'll cover news and speak with guests from industry, government, and civil society. You won't always agree with us, but if you care about our energy future, this series is for you. Energy versus Climate is a live, interactive webinar and podcast. You can join us live every other week and subscribe to the podcast. Sign up for updates and exclusive webinar access at energyversusclimate.substack.com.